Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at the Primo Photo Gear Large Tripod. Okay, so if you're into uh, making videos or photography, or you have some other use, you may or may not need a tripod. Now, if you do need a tripod, they can cost a lot of money or not a lot of money. Now, this particular one from uh, Primo Photo Gear, who I've never heard of before, uh, this is at the lower end of the spectrum. Now, this is what I would call a budget tripod, although it's got a lot of features that some of the uh, higher end tripods have got. So, let's have a quick look through and see what it does, apart from being a tripod. So, first of all, one of the key features I like of this, which is not seen on a lot of tripods of uh, this value or even higher, actually talking of value as well, this uh, tripod is currently on Amazon for about £28 if you buy it new. I personally got this one from the uh, Amazon warehouse where you can get lots of really good deals and I paid about £16 for this because the box had been opened. So hopefully it's all okay inside, I think it will be, but you never know. Um, and in the US, they don't actually do this particular brand. It looks like Amazon have either bought the brand or have rebranded it, and it comes in as the Amazon Basics Large Tripod. Um, I'll put both links for the UK, EU, and uh, the US, Canada, I guess. I'll put those in the comment section below so you can have a look for yourself. But the Amazon Basics one is exactly the same, same packaging, just it's uh, Rather than being black, it's a sort of chrome finish on the legs. But other than that, every other detail looks exactly the same. So anyway, I'm digressing. So the thing that drew me towards this, well, a few things actually. First of all, it's got a three-way pan head, which is uh, great. So you can get different angles on your shots. It's got a carry handle on the side. And because it's, it's actually quite light as well, I think um, weight-wise, you're looking at about 1.3 kilos. So that's getting on for, I guess, two and a half, three pounds. Quite lightweight, so you can quite happily carry it around using the handle when you've got your camera bag, etc. So it's not gonna be that cumbersome and should be pretty easy to use out in the field. Obviously, if you're in a studio or a home setup like I am, then it's not really a problem anyway. Um, it also, com also comes with a carry bag as well, which is quite a nice feature at this kind of price. Uh, you've got the adjustable gear lever head and also you've got on the uh, spreader lock, the spreader lock is just a simple twist to lock and unlock rather than having like a thumb screw or something. So that's quite nice and easy to use and you know it's going to be locked into position. And if you're using it in a slightly uneven place or you need a little bit of extra sort of stability, then you've got a hook on the bottom so you can put on a, on a sandbag or shopping bag or whatever you've got to hand, just some weight just to give it a bit more balance. But the best thing about this, which I particularly like, especially using it in a sort of a home environment, is the non-slip rubber feet, which are angled, angled, angleable, angled. So the rubber feet you can put on the floor and hopefully if you move it or try and slide it, it's gonna stick in position. A lot of the other tripods, and I'll try and show a photo somewhere here, the tripods, the legs are kind of, the actual feet are fixed in a specific direction or a specific angle. So if your floors aren't completely flat or level, then they do have a tendency to sort of skip or jump about uh, if someone's moving the tripod. So at least with this, once you've set it up, in theory, it should stay exactly where you've set it. So that's enough about the uh, talking about what it does. Let's take it out of the box and see what we get. So as you can see, it's got quite a nice carry bag and it looks uh, quite a well, well-made canvas bag. And hopefully the zip is, yeah, it's got a good zip on there. So it's unlikely that's gonna break in a hurry. And there's also, there's a shoulder strap on the bag which is adjustable, so you can stick it over your shoulder. Okay, another nice feature, especially at this price point. So there's the tripod itself. As you can see, that's the uh, the bit that did it for me, is those positionable rubber feet. So no matter where you've got it, the feet are gonna stay level, which for me is brooding, especially my uh, tongue and groove flooring, which I put down myself, in particularly good and is very unlevel. So really good and helpful. Now there's the, uh, the hook I was talking about, so you can put a weight on there. Uh, to keep it a little bit more sturdy if you need to. And here is the locking mechanism. So screw and release. And uh, it's all pretty sturdy, quite a nice aluminium construction. Uh, the legs are kind of like a angled aluminium and they feel a lot better than uh, some of the other cheaper tripods you can get. I did order Amazon Basics. They're kind of really, really entry level cheapo, which was about 
uh, 15 pounds or so and it was horrendous the legs were so flimsy and weak you could almost blow it over it was awful so I sent that back and I've ordered this instead which is not far off the price but uh, considerably better quality so let's go over some of the other things so you've got your carry handle which is a good strong plastic handle and you've got your geared head so you can raise the height of the head to give you a little bit of extra height now total height on this is about 160 centimeters i think which is about 60 inches thereabouts and in it's fully sort of compact state you're looking about two and a half foot um actually no it's probably about two foot so that's about 60 inches yeah 60 inches my conversions aren't very good anyway so that is it you've got your obviously your angular head and there's also in there is a spirit level so you can check to make sure your camera's set up perfectly level and it's also got the portrait mount so you can take portrait photos obviously the head spins pivots pans whatever you want to call it and also you've got a quick release head with a thumb screw underneath so you can attach that to your camera leave it on the camera when you're ready to set up just pop it in using the quick release now the only thing i did find with this is the quick release is a little bit on the sort of plasticky side but i suppose you can forgive it at this price point so I've given you a brief, uh, a, brief, a brief introduction of what it is and what it can do. So I'm going to get my other camera out now, which I'm going to set up so I can have a uh, B camera rolling when I'm doing my unboxings. So we're going to get that set up and you can have a look through that camera to see the process. See you in a second. Okay, so here we are back with the uh, Prima Photo Gear large tripod. Here it is. So let's uh, extend the legs and get it set up, stick the camera on. The camera of interest, if you're thinking about the kit I'm using, uh, the kit I'm using there is the Lumix G7 uh, with a wireless mic setup, which I'll link in the description below. And this is the Panasonic DMC FZ62, which is an older camera, but it's going to be great for doing uh, B-roll footage of unboxings and getting close-ups that I can't get with a G7 because it's covering the uh, wider angle. So anyway, carry on. Um, by the way, if you've uh, just come by this channel and come by, is that a Welsh thing or an English thing? Not sure. If you've just come to this channel and you're wondering what it's all about, I do reviews on uh, camera gear, IT products, and general how-to. So uh, if you want to keep up to date and see what I'm up to, click on the subscribe button down the bottom and click on the little alarm thing next to it, and then you'll get notified when there's a new video. But anyway, let's get on with this. So got quick release legs, and they seem pretty good. They're not rock solid, but again, for the money, can't go wrong. And this finish, I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the camera, is actually like a kind of a satin matte black, so it's quite a nice finish. And obviously it's got the Primo Photo logo there. So we snap out the legs into position and lock. So there we go, that's that locked into position, so that's not going to move now. You see already, it's pretty stable with the legs on the, uh, the rubber feet, it's actually gripping quite well, so even if I did sort of nudge it a little bit, it's not going to go shooting across on the floor. So here's the uh, removable head. So I'll take that out. I'm not sure if that's compatible with other tripods. I'm going to try it actually later with the Velbon, and I'll see if uh, they are interchangeable. If they are, I'll, I'll put something in the uh, comment section below. So have a read in the comment section, and you can see uh, what's going on. So just attach that to the base of the camera, as you would with any camera, and I think it's a quarter-inch thread. There we go. That's locked into position now. So yeah, it's pretty sturdy. So in normal use, I'm going to have the, loosen that off. I'll be in kind of this position looking down on the things I'm unboxing. So I'm just going to record some footage of that now so you can get an idea of what it's going to be doing. So if you're doing this in your own home and you want to get some sort of setup of your unboxings and reviews and what have you, you've got your main camera fixed on the wider picture and then you can have another camera such as this one uh, keeping an eye on the side footing or even over your shoulder something like that and you can because it's on a tripod you can get really nice close-up shots of whatever it is so let's put something into shot such as this lens adapter which i'll be reviewing so you can get the camera and you can hopefully focus right in on that no we can't because my focus isn't pulling but anyway you get the idea so this has been the Prima Photo Gear large tripod. I'm pretty impressed. Hopefully you will be too if you get yourself one. If there's anything I've missed in this review or anything you'd like to see done with the tripod, put it in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And we'll catch you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.